All right, number 16 says the body paint, an automobile body paint shop, has determined that the painting time of automobiles is uniformly distributed and the required time ranges between 45 minutes and an hour, to an hour and a half. Determine the expected painting time and its variance. Okay, so let's let's piece all of this together. So first of all, it looks like my variable here is painting time for an automobile, right? And if it's time, that's gonna be a continuous numerical variable. But I see this buzzword, right, uniformly distributed. So that's gonna help me here. So again, my variable in this case is gonna be painting times. Now I was actually given two units. I see minutes here and hours, but if I look at all of the answers, they're all in minutes. So I'm gonna convert everything to minutes, right? And we were told I was uniformly distributed from 45 minutes to one and a half hours, which is really just 90 minutes. So I'm gonna put that I have a uniform distribution here. And it says, what's the expected painting time? That's another, that's an equivalent buzzword for mean or average. Right? And then variance is going to be the square of the standard deviation. So I'll find all of those. So if I want my mean, we know from the uniform distribution, it's a plus b over 2. So, oops, not 0. We have 45 plus 90 over 2. And when I crunch that number, I'm going to get 67.5, and the units are minutes. So at that point, I rule that out and that out. All right, so now we're down between b and d. Well, let's find the standard, oh, excuse me, the variance. And if I want the variance, I just don't use the square root symbol. All right, so let's see what this turns into. This is going to be 90 minus 45. Let's square it, divide by 12. And when I crunch that, I get 168.75. And the units are technically minutes squared. They don't really have any context. Again, finding the variance is just a, a step on the on the path to get the standard deviation because again technically if I wanted the standard deviation I would then square root this number all right and whatever that was that would be the standard deviation in minutes and that would be great but they were asking us for the variance so it's just the square of the standard deviation and so that leaves us with d as our answer okay thanks so much everyone